By definition, engineering is a creative activity because uh, everything you, you design, you draw, has some spark of creation in it. I uh, joined Arup in 1950. Uh, uh, the firm was then called Over Arup and Partners and uh, I stayed with the firm until I retired in 1989. I was co-chairman of what was then called the Over Arab Partnership, but is now called the Arab Group. In 1961, Over Arab Partners had been appointed for the, they were appointed to be the engineers for the Sydney Opera House, although in effect they only did the structural engineering and the civil engineering. And I was asked to handle the thing and take it over and led the, uh, design of the project, the engineering design, uh, from then onwards until completion. In hindsight, there's no question that from the moment uh, I was asked to take the thing over, uh, life changed. It changed because I started traveling to all over the world frequently, and it changed uh, uh, professionally in that uh, created challenges which uh, many engineers never have to face. The challenges uh, was to, to design a structural form which was extraordinary, with very rudimentary tools by current standards. Yes, there were computers. There were Iron Age computers compared to what is available today, something which your pocket watch now could do in, in, in 10 seconds, took six hours or seven hours. It, it was very much a a developmental era where one was developing ideas, uh, methods, systems. One was really working at the frontiers of what was possible in our industry. And I was very fortunate to have a most extraordinary number of people of extraordinary ability working with me.